Hey, welcome. Come on in. Class is starting now. Welcome to Affordable Backyard University, the weekly show that teaches you how to confidently buy backyard home improvements the right way. This week, we're sliding up to Sanger, Texas, where a lady loves her dog so much she built them a playground in the country. And that's next. So just like every week, we're going to start off by defining the parts of a fence that make it a good fence. A chain link fence, in this case a five foot tall chain link fence, has about four real parts. It's got corner posts, it's got line posts which go in between the corner posts, it's got a top rail, it's got a tension wire at the bottom which is really important, and obviously it's got the chain mesh fabric. Now the backbone of every fence is the posts, but on a chain link fence they're even more important because it's under stress. It's being pulled, that fabric is being pulled tight. So those corner posts, that's why they're big, they're two and three eighths inches, they are deep in the ground with maximizer concrete. Those line posts support the mesh, they're deep in the ground, but they're not quite as big and that's why. That top rail has got to support the pull and the stress and that bottom tension wire keeps that fabric smooth and flat. Here's a great picture of a four foot gate supported by three corner posts because that's where the pull's coming from. Here's her double gate so the mower can get through. And, oh my gosh, is that the music again? I guess I'm gonna shut up and let you guys walk and look. Hey, we'd like to thank you for visiting with us on Affordable Backyard University. If you liked what you saw, click the like button. Help a brother out. We make videos every week. If you'd like to be notified, click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. Leave a question, leave a comment, leave a criticism. If you liked it, like it.